Okay, so I just tried to um record a message, so I gotta restart it. Uh, if you come across this message, I manifest uh, that the right people come across it for the highest good, no harm and none, no deception, no trickery, no confusion. Thank you, angels, for this message today. Let's ride right into it. Let's see what we get. Last message was kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't that wrong. It just was, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Raven. Mm -hmm. So you could be seeing ravens, crows, whatever that little bird family is with them dark birds. Ravens, crows, you could be seeing any any one of those. A lot of changes. 10, 10 new beginnings. So the ravens, crows, leading you into the new beginning, giving you signs of the changes that's to come to lead you directly into this new beginning. 10, 10 as I say that. You could be seeing 10, 10. You know, you could be seeing ravens. The sign is your message. And if you need clarification, the ravens mean change. Crows do also. Ravens also mean psychic abilities, enhancing, just psychic stuff. And 1010 is new beginnings. You already know a completion of some cycles. Backstabbing. Oh, money. Wow. So this is a deeper than I thought, honey. So you might have some karma cycles. Two, 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 yes. Some karma cycles, and it's so wild. Why did this come up? Some cycles, some karma, some karmic cycles, karmic programming, karmic thought forms around money. One for four on the clock, as I say that, and it ain't even just about money. It's about like um this energy, the backstabbing energy, like. People backstabbing you for money. Um, you attracting that energy of people coming in in your life to backstab you for money because you know they probably see you as the cash cow. You probably don't even see yourself as the cash cow, but it's just like when that energy is inherited in you, ain't no way around it. It's on you. It's in you, not on you. That's what I'm gonna say. It's in you, not on you. So you know, certain people know this, or you know that that karma that you have, that vibrational energy that you had or closing out the cycle in with the 10 10 uh had a lot to do with you getting backstabbed for money um people backstabbing you just you know to get one up if you resonate with that type of energy this you know this is a collective message so take it how it resonate if you know if it don't make sense it just don't make sense but this for my people that really understand what i'm talking about but yeah you've been dealing with a lot of cycles of um yeah, people coming in your life, backstabbing you for money, you know, trying to take you out and all type of stuff like that. I've dealt with it on lower energies and higher, like, aspects of really seeing that people coming in my life just for, like, the money. And they, you know, manipulate me, use me, but it was all karma. It's stuff that I inherited from generations, past life, stuff like that. Like I, like I said, once again, through 12 on the clock, my birthday. If you resonate that, you understand what I'm saying. And, yeah, you complete those cycles out. You've been seeing ravens? Yes. So let's pull like two more cards about this. That was deep. Okay. I really resonated with that. You closing out those cycles. You must have been doing some money work. You know what I'm saying? Like of affirmations when it comes to money. You that hermit energy, like you diving into yourself, really understanding where did this all come from? And you know, you being able to uproot it. Inheritance. Manifest. Jezebel, what the fuck is this going on? Then we got Lord Shiva. So you could want to work, work with Lord Shiva. He helps a lot with um with like tantric energies, uh magic. It's a lot of stuff on Lord Shiva. He the dad of um Lord Ganesh. Lord Ganesh got his elephant head from Lord Shiva because Lord Shiva cut his head off and then replaced it with an elephant head. You know, elephants are all intelligent, knowledgeable. So it was just the uh symbolism to show him how much intelligence he had but fuck that inheritance is some type of inheritance on his way or you dealing with some type of inheritance jezebel also came out shame so somebody some type of jezebel energy incubus succubus you know the big mama or the incubus succubus you know saw you along your lines <laughs> oh my god this is getting so personal but it's you know it's gonna resonate with whoever need to see it and let me hurry up and get the message out you might have dealt with this type of situation well, you know, you dealt with some type of Jezebel energy. It could be in your family, around you, or 
mentor because that's how I, I i had to deal with this energy mentor anything like that and they just do a lot of projecting and you know trying to siphon backstab and all type of weird stuff karma dumping yeah and it's like this cycle is um closing out because they was trying to get to your inheritance and it ain't even about you know money if, but it is because money came out it ain't always about money it could be your gifts talents whatever it may be but you closing that cycle out your inheritance is coming to you directly to you and at the bottom of the deck we had manifest so all you had to do is manifest this inheritance that um is coming i know this reading is here well um manifest the inheritance that is coming towards you because you didn't close out this cycle with all those negative lower vibrational energies as i said it's sunshine brighter yeah um work with lord shiva lord shiva came out so you might want to work with lord shiva lord shiva helps with a lot of those lower negative emotions that we pick up in the world help you tr transmute it, alchemize all these negative emotions because we also had shame and on the manifest we had trauma so he I feel like he can really help you, you know, transmute those energies of shame that might have, you you know, picked up from that situation or they dumped on you. Wherever you got these energy from, we ain't just going to blame people, but this what came out. So we ain't blaming nobody, but this what you went through. It was karma. You closed out the cycle. Work with Lord Shiva. Release the shame. Release the trauma. Lord Shiva is powerful when it comes to re releasing negative energies. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. If that resonates, take it. Six through three on the clock as I take it. I mean, as I said, it, take it how it resonates. Lead the rest out. Everything for the highest good and harm and nothing. No deception, no trickery. So if they resonate, have a blessed abundant time. Man. <laughs>